Hi, my name is Robert. I come to you as an automobile enthusiast that have maintained, serviced, and repaired my own vehicles in excess of 30 years. I've had a car that lasts over 400,000 miles. The current car that I'm driving has over 220,000 miles on it. It's a 95 model. So I hope you can benefit from the information I share. Thanks for tuning in. All right, I'm out in the salvage yard. A buddy of mine has a bad uh, seat belt in his 850. So this is going to be a quick video showing you how to remove, safely remove the seat belt and change out the seat belt on an 850. Next, you want to position the seat far enough forward so you can get the seat belt bolt out of the bottom and far enough tilted forward so you can get a bolt out of the seat belt uh, retractor. Second thing you want to do is disconnect the battery negative cable. If you don't disconnect this battery negative cable, you'll end up uh, tripping the SRS light. And you don't want to do that because you'll have to get it reset at an authorized Volvo service center. You should know that the seat belts, the seats on the 850 has an airbag in there. This airbag will cut through this uh portion of the seat booster and deflate the trigger for it to deflate is right behind this uh, normally seat control seat pocket so the first thing you want to do is pull this up jerk it up then you want to pop it back and unhook it from the back side of the seat when you pull it out you look inside and normally uh, you'll see this little clip inside that little pocket you pull that clip out and you set it and slide it in the trigger for the uh, airbag so you don't accidentally discharge that airbag by bumping that switch. Then you want to get a 12 millimeter socket. Take this bolt right here loose. All right, once that bolt's loose, we're going to go in and take this pillar down and pull the seatbelt the rest of the way out. Hold on one minute, let me switch positions. Next thing you want to do is pull this trim panel loose. It has several clips in it. Then it has a clear bracket, a light color bracket up top, a dark color bracket below. Uh, the light one is missing here, so I think I grabbed it from the salvage yard. Then uh, be careful with this trim piece. If you jerk it too hard, you could crack it because it's old and fragile. Now, since you've disconnected the battery, go ahead and unplug the uh, SRS system plug. And then you want to undo this 14 millimeter bolt, undo this 14 millimeter bolt, and undo this. I think it's a T30. So I'm going to go ahead and undo those and swap out the belt. Okay, as you see, I have the seat belt off of the wall. I was able to work it out of that bracket. I don't think I brought a T30 with me. But the other car has one in there, so you can loosen that. And then, of course, I disconnected that. So that's pretty much it. Simple five-minute process. After you get this off of the uh, pillar over there, as you notice, the trim piece has some kind of clips. So you can work those clips loose and take that uh, trim piece off with it so that it's easier to transfer to the other car or you can just kind of force the seat belt through that little slot. Either way, it's up to you. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. Go ahead and subscribe to my page so you will get notification of future videos that I post. You can feel free to visit my website, robertspinner.com, post questions, and thanks again for watching.